So now let's get back to our particle system. Um, so now we want to pipe this instance into the particle system, but we can't really use the same material, which was a point material. We need to use the mesh basic instance. So I could simply take this one and copy it here, but I'd rather make a copy first. So we have two distinct materials and it's easier to debug. Wait a second, so I'm just gonna call this one mesh particles and by going back and I'm gonna hide this to have a bit more space um, I can now pick and choose the mesh basic particles um, so now you can see we have our spheres moving so now we want to have some level of interaction we want the particles to move only where the mouse cursor is so one way to do that is to go back into the particle and we're going to detect the distance between the position here and the cursor. So let's first create a parameter. Um, we're going to call it mouse pos. And I'm just calling the node mouse position, but I want to call it the actual parameter. We're going to create like this and I'm going to make it a vector three. I'm going to get the distance between this parameter and the particle position and I'm gonna remap that with a ramp. And now we wanna multiply the upward, upward vector that we applied previously to by, by the ramp. And we do it like this. And now if I remap the ramp, so we have the highest value when we are close to the cursor. Right now it's only the position zero, zero, zero. You can see that that's only where the points move and we can move this and decide they define where, where the points are going to move and now we want to link this to the mouse position so one way to do that is to create a pk node inside the events node and this is this node and you can see for instance that there are other nodes in this um, area which are the one is camera orbit control which is what allows the camera to rotate like this so the picker node is currently defined as object intersect, so it will intersect whatever objects are going to be behind the cursor, but we want a simple version of it, which can just do a plane intersect, and we are going to intersect the plane that's uh, facing us on the z-axis. And in the info tab, we have a bunch of things we can detect, and one of them is the position. So now we can see what is the world position on that um, plane we just set. And we're going to plug this uh, by copying it into the parameter of the simulation so we say pass absolute and now we can see that there is some movement so for instance if we start to do that we start to push the particles one by one and it's not very pretty but that's the start of the interaction